Hello dear colleagues, so in this video I will speak about one of the tools from Formit Palettes. It's called Layers. You can locate layers in this location, in the tool palette. And you can create and, and assign layers to objects. So, tool is simple, you click Add Layer. And layers are created automatically. And now you just select object. In this case, I have a group, so I can select layer one. I have a mesh. Mesh is also, you see, as selected as one object. I can assign layer. And now if I select only face like object, so in this case, the selection tool is not active. If I select line, is also not active. If I select the point, it's also no, not active. So I need to select all objects. So my layer option is active. So to select object, I can select it like in AutoCAD from, uh, from left to right, going from top down, and the red rectangle appears and I select object which goes inside this rectangle. I just uh, selected by dragging this uh, same rectangle, but from different uh, direction from the bottom to the top. And in this case, if it uh, selects any object, it automatically um, select it. If, if it touch it, it automatically select it. Okay. And another option is I just click tab times and I see faces and lines are selected I, and I just click on the object and it's selected and now I can select the layer. Now after you assign layer you should double check if layer is assigned correctly and all objects are in the correct layer. If you don't want to modify or do some damage to your uh, project you can lock the layer and in this case, I will not be able to select this object and to modify. If I use a drawing tools, I can snap to the object. I can nicely create additional elements based on this object, but I cannot modify this object. So it's locked. And if I don't want to see object, I just turn it off. Now important part is layer names. So layer names should be uh, based on specific rules. So all these specific rules are provided in ISO 13567 CAT layers. And the basic structure of the layer is like this one. So in this case we have agent. So it means the discipline role of the uh, layer later the object so element uh, let's say example steers uh, and another one is uh, dimensions and also we have a lot of other parts for providing information so in this case new work first floor block a block b and so on so the layer structure can be big large and complex uh, in this table, you can see layers which are based on ISO 13567. It's interpretation by Autodesk. And this structure of layer is also included in Autodesk Revit. So if you will use same layers on your sketch project in format, later you go back with this sketch inside Revit, you will see the same structure and the same logic. And you can get the link between Revit groups and between CAD layers. And of course, if you export this uh, sketch into CAD programs like AutoCAD, so you should follow the CAD layer structure. So if I go to, let's say, uh, floors, so floors is basically architecture object floor in here. I can provide more information and basically I have the last part is outline. So it means 
outline of the object and if the object is cutted uh, it's model cut and in here i have basic cad autocad uh, color codes and if we look to this naming so additional objects what i can see here so dimensions symbols identification objects mm -hmm -hmm. so additional one hidden lines okay and so maybe this one is center line So basically these are the main uh, elements in this uh, name. So we have uh, one part, second part, third part and fourth part. So four, four parts which describe the names in uh, Autodesk Revit and inside uh, AutoCAD should be used like, like that. Of course, each country has its own uh, country specific modification of international standards. So you should follow also the national requirements for that. For education purpose, I will use uh, ISO standards and ISO standard recommendations. Okay, our objects are simple box and for this simple box let's look in the list of layers and let's select generic model object so let's copy this one and use it for the layer names and of course i cannot put the same layer name all the layer names should be unique in 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 my case so now I have additional place to put some data, so try to use it and let's write it. So this one will be yellow box. This one will be green and this one. Red. Of course, it's just example. Uh, in in real projects, you should follow uh, more specific uh, settings from these tables and uh, international standard. But for this example, here we can see yellow box and generic model of the red box. Okay, so let's look how this ISO standard looks like in ISO standard organization. So here is official page and here you can see the description. You can click preview. You can see what's inside the standard. Mainly the standards are not very large and uh, they have concentrated information and you should follow it if you want to create nice documentation according to international standards and here is the price uh, and i think you can change the country and you will see the price based on your country and for students uh, access is for free um, for education purpose for learning training and companies uh, should buy if they want to use it on the project and daily basis and of course uh, you should look to your national standard departments uh, so we can provide uh, specific standard modifications which is uh, specifically adapted for your national needs and maybe the rules and specifications can be a little bit different